The action control model, according to Professor Julius Kuhl, explains how we form, plan, put into practice, and if necessary, adjust our goals. This is a difficult process that may be disrupted by many different factors. How can we optimize this process in order to achieve our goals as quickly as possible? How can we avoid putting our goals into practice headlessly and take the time to plan carefully? Or in other words, how can we motivate ourselves to finally put those things into practice which we have been planning for so long? After all, it would be ideal if we could simply use the cognitive system that is most useful in a given situation. The answer? Through effects. There are four different types of effect, positive, negative, inhibited positive, and inhibited negative effect. Effects are short, unconscious emotional states that cannot spontaneously be put into words. They are needs indicators. Positive effect is a sign that everything's okay. We feel that our goals and our needs are being fulfilled. This state of positive effect manifests itself in a will to take things on. This can easily be observed in everyday life. People who are in a great mood and looking forward to an upcoming event, for example, are often buzzing with drive and can hardly wait to get going. Negative effect, in contrast, is a sign that things are not going well. People in a state of negative effect tend to want to implement avoidance strategies and are often excessively aware of things going wrong or not going to plan. In its inhibited form, negative effect manifests itself as relief or equanimity. Here, feelings of worry or fear have given way to a sense of assurance and an everything-will-work-out attitude. Inhibited positive effect manifests itself in curbed enthusiasm. We don't feel the same sense of anticipation and drive that we do when in a state of positive effect, but rather mull over our behavior or the situation in question and are hesitant and careful in our approach. With regard to our brain system, this means that the different effects activate the four cognitive systems in different ways. The positive effect activates the spontaneous doer, encouraging us to realize our intentions and ensuring that we put things into action. We exhibit anticipation, a will to work, and a good mood. The controller, in turn, is activated by the negative effect and improves our eye for detail and enables us to pick up on mistakes and discrepancies through emotions such as anger, rage, and insecurity. The inhibited negative effect manifests itself in emotions such as equanimity, relief, or hope. They activate the managing director and promote our ability to perceive things comprehensively and to form goals. By contrast, the logician enables us to analyze and plan our actions through sobriety, objectivity, or restraint, that is, through what is referred to as the inhibited positive effect. A figure eight symbol illustrates the way in which these cognitive systems should ideally interact with each other and shows which effects come into play at what stage of the process from goal formation to implementation. Goal formation and decision-making processes are processed by the cognitive system we call the managing director. This is best done in a state of equanimity, that is, an inhibited negative effect. Once the goal has been formed, concrete action steps need to be planned. This is best achieved in a state of sobriety, that is, an inhibited positive effect. Once all preparatory measures have been taken and all steps considered, we can start putting our plans into action. We can now release our sense of anticipation and drive to put our plans into practice. The positive effect. If we encounter unforeseen difficulties in our efforts to implement our plans, the controller comes into play. This is where the anticipation and drive that we felt during action facilitation turn into skepticism, anger, rage, or disappointment, the negative effect. This negative effect causes us to focus on errors or want to examine results. Once we have recognized the error, we need to free ourselves from this problem focus and return to a solution-oriented mindset. To do this, we have to inhibit our state of negative effect accordingly. The managing director is activated again and the figure eight starts from the beginning. Effects are therefore like switches that can turn different cognitive systems on and off. <laughs>